Good morning. Today is Friday, my favorite day of the week. We are going to be doing a wall extension today. Well, prepping for a wall extension. No mud is going down today. But there is a concrete wall at a museum that we do a lot of work at that has cladding all on the outside of it, some veneer stone. And we have to extend this wall about 12 inches on the sides. It's a curved wall, so it like kind of curves up like this. But she wants to raise the sides of it 12 inches and the top middle of it 6 inches. So it'll be less of a curve, but it'll be a higher wall. So today the mission is to get all of the cladding off the wall, drill in some rebar, and just get it ready for forms. And then probably start forming it up. So, uh, I'll probably add on Monday's video to this video. So it'll just be all one process of the whole wall. So without further ado, let's get to it. The grinder. And this extension cord. All right, so this whole wall. We have to take the cladding off of, form it up, and then pour a higher wall, and then reclad it back up. So the top middle is going to be six inches higher than it is now, and the sides are going to be 12 inches higher than they are now. So this is today's project, is getting this wall ready. Time to grind the day away. Cut your hair? See? <laughs> no more long hair. At first, we were just gonna raise the sides 12 inches and the top six inches. And then she said she wants to do everything 12 inches, raise everything 12 inches. And now she wants this curb to come right here. So we gotta, you know, we gotta basically take out the wall to like here or something. And then she wants to put a column over here. She wants to do a column on both sides. This side, she wants to put this on top of the column that's gonna be like right here. So this thing's gonna be like up here. 
Good morning, Mary. Well, because we have to form it up from this side and the back side. So this oh, whole side. Yeah. So this is, we're going to be drilling into this side to form it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the other side can stay as it is. Well, yeah, we just have to go for, we have to take off at least four inches. So like the top layer of rock, we're going to have to take that off. Well, yeah. There's no other way you can form that up on the other side? Um, no, I mean, we can... Not really. I mean, the, the the big worry is that if you lightly form it up, like if we just put stakes every certain rows without an actual form board drilled in at least four inches on it, that it's going to blow out because we're doing 12 inches of concrete. So it's kind of a lot of concrete. It'll just blow the high. form. Yeah, it'll just blow the form out because it's a lot of weight. Mm. I'm trying to think of, of, you know, some sort of alternative. Yeah, I, I mean... Based on my knowledge, I don't really know there is one. Really, because you know, the last thing you want to do is pour the concrete and then the so form falls out, and then you got concrete all in here that we're gonna have to clean up. It's yeah. gonna ruin a lot of stuff. No. So at this point, we started to try and break apart this wall with the sludge hammer and it turned out to be more difficult than i really expected i forgot we poured this wall about five years ago and i forgot everything that it entailed um it was a 16 inch wall um at the bottom going into the dirt here so there was about five inches to six inches of it exposed out of the dirt and then another 12 inches into the ground and there is also a footer underneath of it with rebar going through the footer and into the slab. So it was um, a little more difficult than I was expecting to say the least. So eventually uh, I made the executive decision to go ahead and rent a jackhammer to jackhammer this out and had the guys start taking off cladding on the upper part of the wall because there was still cladding on each side that needed to um, be chipped off so I tried to give it a go with the sledgehammer for a little bit and realized this was going to take forever don't do it on the concrete though dude I'd roll it to the grass and then whack it Ow. I landed on the big toe Yeah. Maybe what we gotta do is digging over there. See? Right? See? I mean, but even when we. Yeah. We, the issue is we would have to dig on both sides to really get it out. Uh -huh. With the sledgehammer. Or we get the jackhammer and we don't have to dig anywhere. I'm gonna go rent the jackhammer. So we gotta, cause we're gonna be putting forms on here. So we need to take off at least four inches of the cladding, the rock, all around this edge so that we can screw in our forms. Ah, okay. So you and Ethan can start doing that now. I got, we got two, you got your big SDS? I already got their distance Do you have your big SDS? Okay. So yeah, you and Ethan can start working on that and I'll be back with the jackhammer so we can take this out easy. Alright, so now I am off to Home Depot to rent one of them jackhammers. Because that's just going to take too long trying to get out of there with a sledgehammer. I mean, the, the concrete's like 12 inches underneath the dirt so we have to just dig trenches on each side to even get it so we can possibly get it loose. So. I'm gonna have the guys start working on chipping up the back side of the wall, the cladding off of it, because we're gonna need to get that cladding off to put our form, to screw our form boards in anyway. So I'm gonna have them start working on that while I go get this jackhammer and come back and save us some time instead of trying to knock that wall out with the sludge hammer, which would take God knows how long. Alrighty, got the jackhammer. Gonna make life a lot easier. Chip 
it away. Yeah. this jackhammer i mean this stuff was not the easiest to take apart i don't remember exactly what concrete and what strength we used whenever we poured it five years ago but uh it was some strong stuff there was rebar going through it but the rebar was about every uh 18 inches apart i might be going through a chunk of rebar right now actually during this hard piece Yeah, the last time I went, he said, we're not supposed to rent this tip out with this oh, chipper, the, the but I'll let you do it. Yeah. What? I know. And for every tip, like you're only given one. You got to rent for the other price? ones. Yeah. Oh. Drilling, drilling, drilling. Mm-hmm. I finished. Yeah, I was about to say, you're done now. Every 16 inches is fine, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Blade on that thing's cold. You don't ever keep the metal blade in the trailer? Mm hmm. No, you don't. The what? The metal blade. We have one, don't we? Like the, the metal one? The, yeah, the not in the ones? trailer, though. I think we do. Oh. It's yeah. on, that bottom on the bottom tray. Yeah, we got one. Here, put this one on. This yeah, is for metal or for concrete? For metal. You don't cut concrete with this? No. <laughs> I've done You're funner. Both hands. He's yep. One. This one's heavier. Uh, that's what I'll say. Seen, he, you guys left. He just kept working. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> he just disappeared and he just kept grinding away on this. That okay, is well. true. I told him to take lunch. I think he takes lunch. He's on a fast right that's now. That's not his style. Yeah. <laughs> I've worked around him enough. Like I always find it because I'm not away. Keep telling me. You know what the house is like here or what? Every day, when he comes, he sees me. Yeah. In the night, when I feel it, and I was here. <laughs> Say, you sleep here? No.
good, it's good, it's good. See it on this one. Got it? Yep. You just think one in between each one that's there now. One, two, three, one, two, three, three more on each one. Oh, uh, he running to go yeah. home? <laughs> yeah, he lazy all day until yeah. it's time to go home. Yeah. And then he running. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, senor. A la vista. Tomorrow we'll finish forming. Yeah, maybe. We gonna put in uh, everything together or you gonna put in the... Uh... Two parts. And everything together? That was my, my plan. Oh, the footing in the bottom? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to, yeah, just on the side of really where that footing is, we're just gonna continue the curve, like where the wall's going. Okay. So yeah, I didn't even think about that. We got a lot to dig out of there. I don't know where we should put it. Maybe we'll put it Behind that dumpster on the driveway or something? Yeah, this is that. There's a lot of rock. They yeah. gotta come out. Okay. La vista, my friend. That's the la vista. Okay. 